I'm Joe Kurtenbach with American Rifleman, and today I'm giving you a first look at the Springfield Armory Saint. Now, I'm already pretty well acquainted with this rifle. I've sent a lot of rounds downrange already, but more on that later. Let's take a look at the gun. A lot of people might say it's about time Springfield comes out with an AR platform. I say better late than never, and Springfield Armory did a great job when they were designing the Saint. Taking a look at the features, we've got a 16-inch barrel. Now, this is an M4 contour barrel minus the 203 cuts and it does use a A2 style uh, front sight. It does have a bayonet lug, keeping it classy. And moving back to the handguard, this is a brand new handguard from Bravo Company, and I have to say I really like it. It's a two-piece attachment system with a using the delta ring, and it is a key mod. This might be the first time you see key mod attachment points rendered in a polymer handguard, but I have to say overall, it's trim, the texturing is good, and there's plenty of room for adding accessories. Moving back to the receivers, nothing too special on the outside. We've got aluminum receivers, we've got a top end of Picatinny rail, and so plenty of room for adding your optics. And we do have Springfield's uh, backup iron sight. It's a flip-up arrangement with dual apertures, so a small aperture for longer range shooting and a larger one for close-in work. It does have a forward assist button and a GI style charging handle. And moving back to the buttstock, we've got the Bravo Company buttstock, Bravo Company pistol grip. So all pretty groovy there. Now the AR is undoubtedly one of the most popular rifle platforms today, so it's hard for a new AR maker to differentiate themselves in that crowded field. But with the small decisions Springfield made on the inside of this gun with the internals, it really adds a lot of value for their consumers. One thing they did is basically develop a mil-spec plus trigger group. Now what do I mean there? It's going to be the same arrangement as a typical GI single stage trigger, but Everything's been nickel boron coated, so the lubricity is a little bit better, the brake is a little bit crisper, it's just overall a better GI style trigger. If you were to pop open the two receivers, you're going to see a nylon tip tensioning screw. Now what does that do? Think about a 1911. When you have a loose slide to frame fit, it's just not going to be as accurate of a firearm as a tighter gun might be. So here, using the tensioning screw, which is accessible from underneath the pistol grip, um, and you'll find it just behind the hammer on the inside, you can actually tighten up the fit between the upper and lower receiver, which is going to give you more accurate results. Another smart decision is using a heavy tungsten buffer. So what does that do? This is a fairly light rifle. It's about 6 pounds, 11 ounces, so light for its category. Using a heavy buffer really helps mitigate that recoil and makes this gun a lot of fun to shoot. So in looking at this, Springfield's take on a M4 semi-automatic style rifle, uh, one of the best selling points they have is their price. They're going to retail this for less than $900, and for the features you're getting, including the new Bravo Company furniture, the upgraded trigger, it's basically a mil-spec plus platform, that's a pretty darn good price. I mentioned before I already had a lot of trigger time with the Saint. I've probably fired close to 2,000 rounds myself and seen total probably eight or 9,000 rounds go down range. So what can I say about it? The gun runs. Close range, long range, the desert of Las Vegas, the heat and humidity of Virginia, doesn't matter. The guns were designed to run dry if necessary and you know they have proven to be very reliable, very accurate. I'm excited to see a lot more from the Saint platform. We've got more testing to do, but first impressions, Great gun, great price, great features. Springfield's been trying to sell this gun by saying you need to defend your legacy. I think this rifle might extend theirs. For more, go to springfield-armory.com.